is the trifecta. So this is like three brooms in one. And this is how we start out with it. Um, you've got your stars, right? And we have, oh, you know, you, you have a half pound of purple. And really, what you need to do is see how that feels in your hand. You know, if it, because uh, that's what it's, that's the diameter that it's going to be. And I'm going to cinch down a little bit. But I felt like this one was a little weak. You know, I just, I, I wanted something a little heavier in my hand. So, when you're making a determination of that, feel how it is in your hand. See if you feel okay with that diameter, knowing that it's going to shrink up a little bit. Okay. So what I want to do with this now is I want to take, when I'm okay with whatever uh, amount of broom corn that I decide, I want to divide that into, eyeball it, into three, three, all, I mean, we're going to say equal, but who knows, parts. Okay. Once I've got that done, I've got them separated and I feel good about the different ones. I'll separate them and stack them uh, so that they're easy to get to. And um, I want to do an overhand knot start out with. That is not the best. It's kind of frayed out. So before we start, I'm going to cut that off. I think it's time for a new blade. I think that my scissors are dull too, but all right. I don't know if that's an improvement or not, but we're going to do an overhand knot. Overhand knot. And then I want a slip knot that slips on the long part of my string. So I'm going to make a loop over three fingers where it intersects. I'm going to hold it, turn it upside down, take my other hand, go through the loop, grab the long piece. And then before I tighten this up, I like to kind of work that up a little bit, that knot. Okay, so I don't have a long tail here. All right, so I'm going to take each one of these. And because I want a long, like, handle, right? This is going to be my handle. This is my brushy or broom part of it. Got to back this up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these three pieces individually. So I can't hear my husband hammering. Okay, so I want this. Actually, what I'm going to do with that piece there, I'm going to take, mm -hmm, I'm going to singe that down because I don't like that big nylon look, straggly, yuck. Okay, it's hot. And you see that it's going to slip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around like twice and then I'm going to cinch it up. Makes a big difference. And we want to do three wraps here. And actually, you know what? I'm going to bring that down just a little bit more. Right there on that broom. And I'm going to go around twice. And then I'm going to pull it tight. So I want it three times. And then I'm going to do an advance on the back where that knot's at. I come up here. And I'm going to wrap for three times here. And before I do that, as I come around here, I am going to put in my jerk string. Always helps to have a couple. So I'm going to put in my jerk string and I'm going to wrap. For like three times. So this is the front of my broom. Okay. So I want to come back right here. Keep that tight. Hit it with a knife. Holding that um, tension. Pull that tail through. Come back here. 
and pull your jerk string through. So there's one, and I'm going to tighten this up. And I'm going to trim this back. And then I'm going to do the same thing on these other two pieces. So while I do that and get it ready, I'll be back in just a second and show you what I got. Okay, so I've got two of these in. And what I do is I tie these on first, and then I push these down in there. Okay, they're going to be at different lengths uh, when I get finished anyways. Um, but just to show you, that's what I do. The other thing is I put my last one on here. What I want to do is I want to measure it in comparison to the others. Make sure I get it on right. So about right there is where I'm going to tie my first one on. Okay. And then my slip knot. Like I say, I like to get this up as close as I can because I don't want a big tail. And then actually I'm going to trim this off as well because I don't want that big tail. Once again, I'm going to check that next to this one so I know about right there is where I want to start this. So I'm going to get it on the end. I'm going to check it one more time. Okay, I want to start it about right there. Okay. Go around twice, and then I'll tighten it up. So it doesn't start spinning on me. And I want about three or four wraps here. So this is my fourth one. I'm coming around to the back. I'm going to do an advance. And before... I go around any more. I'm going to put in my jerk string. And I'm going to go around about four here. Come back. Make sure it's good and tight. Hold the tension. Pull that through. Jerk it. Make sure it's good and tight. I'm going to trim that up a bit. I'm going to take my last star. Gently push that in there. Okay, so. You know, I've got all three of these. Like I said, I will rearrange my stars. Maybe I'll put two down here and one up there. And then I'm going to combine these three. Okay? So I want them to stay relatively flat. I'm going to get rid of these things later. So, same thing once again. I'm going to wrap it around just like I normally would, and then I'm going to go up. All right, so here we go. Oops. There we go. So I need to decide where I want to start this at. And I think I'm going to do that about right there. So that is just a tad bit up from the other. You can have them all three just right next to each other if you want. I mean, whatever you want to do is cool. Okay. So once again, now I'm headed this direction. So if I go, actually I'm going to get rid of these because they're going to drive me nuts. In just a minute. If right now I'll just loop them up so they're out of my way. And then I go back and trim them. Okay, so if you go around twice, then this stops slipping, and I want that knot in the back, so that's why I'm kind of holding that and tightening this up, okay? So I'm going to go around four, and I can come back and singe that knot, just so it's not long. And this has started to make this round, okay? So what I'm going to do on this one... On the uh, beginning one, what I did is I just went all the way up. 
right? Not, not the beginning of the first one. I didn't do any wraps in between. I just went, scrolled all the way up and then finished it up here. This time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do advances up, okay? Just for something different. Then you got choices, always a good thing. So I'm gonna advance in the back. I'm gonna come up here and, oops, I don't wanna do that. Advance in the front, advance in the back. And then I'm gonna wrap this about four or five times. Make sure that you put your advances all on one side. Okay, I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to do another advance. Holding it where you want it. As you come around, and I'm going to do another four or five. Wraps. So right here I'll go again, make an advance and go up. Okay, so this last one, I think what I'll do is I will make it uh, my end, just because my arms are getting sore. So, one more advance is I come around the back where these connect. That's where I'm going to put on my jerk string. If I can find it. Jerk string, there it is. It's always good to have a couple so you know where they're at. Okay, so putting in my jerk string. And I'm going to wrap for about four more times. Now, this might, if you want to do it again, if you did a real, oh, like a light blue instead of a black or a lime green instead of a black, that'll really make that jump a lot more. All right, we're gonna call that one good. Let's finish it in the back where the advances are right here. And I'm gonna thread that through my loop, that tail in there. Come back here and grab my jerk string and pull it through. I'm gonna tighten it up. Now I'm gonna show you this PVC cutter thing that really works nice. I'm going to trim these up now. Um, for cutting cleanly brooms that do not have broom handles on them. How's that? And if you wanted to, you go in there with a, a torch and singe those down. You don't have to, but you could. Okay, so I want this a little bit wider and flatter out. So I can pull these guys out this way if I want. And let me show you the cool PVC cutter. So you put it to where you want it and be conscious of where the where your nylon is and where the blade's at. Always good to know. And as you ratchet this up, it's gonna start cutting. So make sure you got it in the place that you want it and not on the nylon before you commence with the cut. One thing I will say is this sprays broom corn all over the place. Because once you're committed, you're committed. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you is this was working beautifully until I hit the, um, the metal from the stars. So 
make sure when you do your stars that you're, uh, you know, you do them about six inches. I cut two inches off, but I didn't make it as long as I normally would have trying to get done. So when I cut it with a PVC cutter, yeah, that didn't work real good. So I have to go in and uh, trim that up. And, um, and also be really, really conscious if you do use one of those PVC cutters of where the blade is to your nylon because that was too close. So anyway, so I'll clean that up. But there is your broom trifecta. All sorts of possibilities there. Uh, stars, you could do dried flowers, you could do wheat in these, all sorts of stuff. So that'll get your ideas going. I like, uh, just comparison, I like that um, this was thicker. I probably would have done this again on that and not done all the, the other, but you know, you learn, you play around with it, see what works for you. Okay, there you go. Next month, it is the plated rooster tail, the one you've been waiting for. Until then.